Hi and welcome back to the channel and um, after what seems like an awful long time um, I've now finished um, this build of Dolgok. So uh, for those of you who haven't been necessarily following along with all the, the videos in the build series um, this is a, a model of Dolgok that I've built by essentially completely destroying a uh, Batman Thomas and Friends uh, Reneus model. So this is their <coughs> um, yeah, they, they describe it, I think it's HO um, scale, but it's basically OO scale. Um, but because they, they came from an American uh, market, they were imported. Um, but they're, they're accurate for 4mm to the foot foot scale. Um, or as accurate as they can be for being uh, being a toy. Um, but they're accurate enough for the purposes of converting them. Um, and I was actually involved slightly in building a conversion kit for, for this model. So um, I designed the replacement uh, smoke box door. So I think it was discussed in one of the previous uh, videos. Um, if you want to go back and have a look, but essentially there's a there's an etch and a 3D printed part, uh, and then actually a lost wax brass casting um, for the locking the locking mechanism. I didn't do I wasn't responsible for the lost wax brass casting, but I did do the etch and the 3D print. Um, Stuart Brewer was responsible for the rest of the kit. Um, and as you can see there's I mean there's quite a bit of difference um, for a start we've chopped off the chimney and added a, a slightly better one uh, the one on the original model is very very thin and spindly uh, we've added something that's much more much more accurate uh, the cab has changed as well um, so the cab is a 3d print with then um, etched overlays so you get the bolt patterns in the right place and all that kind of all that kind of thing um, works really nicely um, gives you um, very similar design to the to the original but it, it's different enough uh, that it, it's more accurate you can see on this one the door is definitely um, slightly wider I think um, and it has if you look on this side it has this extra extra piece at this side uh, that's not on the not on the model uh, you can also tell I removed the coal from this side because again not not necessarily accurate um, and then obviously the main difference um, is all the pipe work, uh, which is not not on the original at all. Um, so yeah, so as I say, I'm not going to go through a huge amount of talking about this model today. Um, I think there's been like 14 parts to the build series, um, so there's lots to to go and look at if you want. But this is the first time you've all seen it kind of nicely weathered. So you can see I've I've done a lot of, um, of further weathering. Previously it was just the black wash. Um, to turn down all the colours, but I've now gone in with all the all the weathering powders, um, lots of muck certainly in the cab doorway and things around the footplate, um, and yeah, on the back some staining where the water filler cap is. Um, all the windows have now been glazed. Um, yeah, I'm really really happy with it, and um, as you can see, um, hopefully you can see the difference on this when you look underneath. Um, looking at the chassis underneath where the light could catch, you can see what we talked about in a previous video was the light catches on this chassis block quite a lot and on this one not at all, you can't see what's going underneath uh, and that's the use of that really black, black paint, uh, the Culture Hustle um, Black 2.0 by um, Stuart Semple I think his name is. Um, as I say there's a, there's a previous uh, video, I'll try to remember to link to it here where we discuss the discuss that paint but as you can see you it really really works well you know certainly when this is on the track you're not going to be able to see what's going on for the chassis block uh, which is really nice it's a really nice effect compared with this um, really kind of bright reflective uh, paint I'm not quite sure why they always have a nice glossy um, paintwork on the on the block there because when you get it in the right light it definitely does definitely does shine up um, so yeah so I'm really happy with this um, as I say it's taken an awfully long time um, I don't want to know how many years um, since I originally got the Reneus model. It seems like forever. Oh, just pulled the. See, this is the other problem. I've pulled the whistle off the old of the the um, Batman model. Um, they're all glued on a bit better on my uh, on my newly built one. Um, but anyway, it's nice to be able to kind of see them see them side by side um, to get the to get the real differences. But I think it's come out really really well. It's much as I say much more accurate. I'm happy with it. It runs nicely. Um, I'll put up some videos as I talk. I actually um, probably put up two videos when I first reassembled it and put the, when it, well when I first put the cylinders back onto the chassis block and ran it. Um, 
it um, it wasn't running very well at all. It turned out that the one of the bearings on the rear um, axle had dropped out of the slot it's supposed to be in, so it would run perfectly backwards. But as soon as you tried to run it forwards, it would cause the axle to twist enough that it would lock um, the coupling rods completely solid and it couldn't turn. Uh, once I figured out what the problem was I, and got the bearing back in the right place, um, it, it ran perfectly. So um, I'll, you, you'll see videos of it both running without the body on and running hopefully with the with the body on. Um, there are some things I could have added. So um, one thing that's missing is there should be, I think, on this side. Uh, a reversing lever which actually goes under the chassis floor here it's quite prominent on some photos especially because on some uh, some liveries it's painted red um, I decided in the end not to add it I didn't want to get too close to the to the motion of everything that was already going on here um, and I'd got quite far through the build before I realized it was well before somebody pointed out it was missing um, it wasn't part of the the detailing kit we did so I didn't think about the fact that it wasn't um, it wasn't there but yeah no I'm really happy with this and um, as I say, I did it in the same uh, livery as I did um, the Tallinn build, which I built from um, a Scarlowy uh, model. So you can see they look really nice together there. They're the same green, although weathered differently, so they come out looking looking a bit different. Um, but as a pair of a pair of locomotives to go to go next to each other, I think they really 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 came out uh, nicely. Um, so yeah, so that finishes um, finishes off this build really. Nothing else nothing else to do now. Um, really happy with it but that's the that's the yeah i don't know if there's any more I, I do have a i think a peter sam uh model but i'm not sure whether i'm gonna i think i've only got one of those so i'm not quite sure yet whether i'm gonna whether i'm gonna destroy that one to to make a a more accurate model um we shall see um and i'm not quite sure what i'm gonna what i'm gonna do next on this channel either as i say we've already got a few models that are kind of running in in parallel um so i might try and move some of those on or i might might pick something else out of the stash as i've still not bought the the kit for the lmyr pug, pug yet so that's kind of on hold the Welsh pull on unfair build is on hold while i work out what i'm doing with the um with the cross heads and the piston rods which are really thin and flimsy um so yeah we might see what else is in the stash uh, build something else but thanks for thanks for sticking with us while we uh, we finished off this one as i say there wasn't a huge amount new to learn on this one it was just a kind of a, a replication of what we did um for for tallying in which was basically use the detailing kit um to kind of improve the improve the model um, and i didn't have to do much on this one i didn't do it i didn't need to turn new buffers or or um surrounds for the windows uh, like i did on on tallying in so this was much more straightforward um, but it's still it's it's come out really nice, and I'm really happy now that I've got I've got it down now how to do this, the weathering wash, and I think this one's a bit better than the the Tallinn one. I think I've got the where the dirt kind of accumulates when you do the wash. Uh, I think I've got that a little bit better now, so the streaks definitely kind of go in the right direction, um, which was a, a problem on the on the previous model. Um, but yeah, so happy with that how that, that's turned out. Um, thanks for following along, and yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and then you will get notified when we move on to whatever whatever's next uh thanks again for watching bye